So I recently received notice that Ting will soon be dropping support for phones that use 2G given that cellular platforms are moving to LTE and 5G. This poses a problem for me since I've been relying in part on the Adafruit Phona which uses 2G for communicating with environmental sensors, triggering my auto samplers, and posting data to the Internet of Things for a relatively low cost. In response, I'm looking at using the particle boron as an alternative to the Phona, but I had questions about integrating it with the Adafruit I.O. platform, as well as texting my phone. What follows is a demonstration that shows that the migration is possible. Okay, folks, so this is a screenshot of a dashboard that I set up on the Adafruit I.O. platform that's currently receiving data from that little particle boron that's in my blinds. And the reason it's up there in my blinds is because I don't have the greatest cell phone reception where I live, so I have to put that up high. But you can see here that um, what, I'm, what I've done is basically um, taken the default sketch that's, that comes with the Adafruit MQTT library for the particle boron IDE and uh, I've got it slightly edited. Right now what it's doing is it's, uh, it's just reporting this counter data to this photo cell feed. And what I've done is modified the sketch a little bit so that if I, um, if I hit the on off button on this dashboard, it should go ahead and register that change and try to text my cell phone. It's also going to light up an LED on my particle boron. So let's give it a shot. So here we go. I'm going to click on that so you can see an LED has come on on the particle boron and there's my text. That was actually pretty quick. It's usually not that fast. Uh, it usually takes about two minutes for the text to come in. But if I click on this now, I can go ahead and click on the included link and I can bring up the same data that's on my dashboard. So this is really helpful for the kind of work that I do where I'm required to be out in the field and I might get a text notification regarding some environmental trigger that's taking place and I wanna be able to respond and perhaps take a sample. I wanna know what the field data looks like. I can do this now uh, using this new platform that runs on LTE. And the other nice thing is that since um, the particle boron can talk to Adafruit's IO platform, uh, this is a very nice alternative to uh, ThinkSpeak, which uh, really doesn't have the, um, you know, these, these beautiful uh, graphics that, that are available on Adafruit I.O. I could probably generate these, I guess, if I learned a little bit of, uh, of MATLAB, but uh, I, can, I can generate these beautiful graphics straight out of the box using Adafruit I.O., so it's uh, certainly a nice alternative, especially since my agency um, is required to pay $765 a year for the, uh, for the ThingSpeak platform. And for Adafruit, uh, I can get the same functionality uh, basically for $600 plus less per year, since Adafruit I.O. is only $100 a year. So a uh, nice alternative all around. The fact that I can uh, get Particle I.O. to talk to this platform and uh, the fact that this platform can text my cell phone using Zapier just makes, uh, makes this uh, a very easy transition for my agency to consider.